Before we can divide using synthetic division, we have to very carefully examine the polynomial term and make sure all of the pieces are there. Our polynomial, or first term, involves a cubed, a squared, and a constant, but no x singular term. We can then rewrite this as 4x cubed minus 5x squared plus 0x, because there are none of them, minus 3. We're going to go ahead and divide that by the binomial x minus 2. In order to use synthetic division, we're going to make ourselves a little chart, an upside down division, if you will, and write down the coefficients or first values in the top row. Be careful to include the signs. You do not want to drop them. That gives us 4, negative 5, 0, and minus 3. What goes on the outside is driven by the denominator, or what we're dividing by, x minus 2. We flip the sign to a positive 2. Now, we follow the process for synthetic division. The first number comes down, giving us a 4. We then multiply the number outside, 2 times 4 gives us 8. To get the value underneath, we add negative 5 plus 8 is positive 3. Then we multiply the number outside, 2, by our next number in line. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay. Again, we add this column, 0 plus 6 is 6. Lastly, we're going to do the same thing, multiplying the number outside by the next number in line, 2 times 6 is a positive 12, which when added to a negative 3 becomes a positive 9. How do we line this back up to a polynomial term with variables? Remember that when we divide x cubed, our first variable, by our first variable x, that gives us an x squared, making our first term the x squared term. 4x squared plus 3x, going down the line in descending order, plus 6. Now you may wonder what's up with this 9 at the very end. This 9 is a remainder or what's left over. It cannot be divided evenly by the divisor or denominator of x minus 2. So we just write that over x minus 2 at the end, making our final solution 4x squared plus 3x plus 6 plus 9 over x minus 2.